Coming up on Mountain News this morning, Kentucky veterinarians remind you to watch out for rabies before it infects your pets or even yourself. And an Eastern Kentucky organization works with church members from out of state to help out its community. Dedicated to Eastern and Southern Kentucky, this is WYMT Mountain News This Morning. Good morning to you, 532 on this Wednesday morning. I'm Dakota Makris. Thank you so much for waking up with us. Let's take it over to Brandon for a look at our forecast this morning. Brandon, all calm and, well, I guess cool in some places or what you could consider cool right. compared to what we've seen. So Exactly. So, yeah, yeah. It's still cool this morning, but that trend is going to continue to go the other direction as we head deeper today with the air temperature. Dew points still not too high today, but that will increase tomorrow. Let's take a look at our camera network. I-75 at London looking pretty good there this morning. No major issues as you head out the door. Temperatures out toward London, 59 there, and in Williamsburg, 57 in Somerset, 52 in Urban, 62 in Jackson, 61 in Wise, 54 in Clintwood, 55 in Hazard, 64 a pair of those in Jacksboro and Middlesboro this morning. State, state and region wide, rather. 51 across the river in Cincinnati, 67 in the Tri- Cities, 57 in Bowling Green, 55 in Paducah, and 66 in the Music City down toward Nashville. 12 hour planner for today, heading up into the upper 80s, sunrise at 615, sunset 859. Dakota? All right, Brendan, thank you. Well, one person is dead following a crash that happened Tuesday evening. State police say a car was traveling along Kentucky 2012, also known as Balkan Brownings Creek Road, near the intersection of Balkan Road when the car crashed killing 42 year old Elizabeth. No, no other information has been released at this time. A Floyd County man was arrested on child sexual exploitation charges. State police say Christopher Jacob Hall was found interviewed and arrested after an undercover Internet crimes against children investigation. Hall's home and Harold was searched with computer equipment used in the crime taken and sent to KSP's forensic lab. He is charged with 20 counts of possessing child pornography and one count of distributing child pornography. He was taken to the Floyd County Detention Center. Authorities in Olive Hill are warning businesses to look out for fake money. As Marley Pinchock reports, these bills look like the real deal, so employees are staying on high alert. Typically, anytime you're checking out with a 50 or $100 bill, so I have to check this one. It's a hundred dollar bill. An employee will likely have to check to determine whether or not it's the real deal. They're becoming professional at making it or buying them offline. However, employees like April Newell, who works at Clark's Pump and Shop in Olive Hill, Kentucky, are making sure even their lower bill amounts are legitimate after a reported money scheme hit a little too close to home. Since this incident happened uh, so close to us, we have actually started marketing almost every single bill that we get in. Olive Hill police say three suspects are involved in a scheme where they've gone into businesses and used these fake $20 bills to purchase items. Police say the scheme was attempted at a store in Olive Hill around 830 Sunday night, but employees were able to determine the money was counterfeit. These are some really good counterfeit copies. Um, they're a lot harder to tell from the ones we've been getting. Uh, some were movie props and some you can order off of some other websites, but these are these are actually decent counterfeit copies. On top of the appearance looking similar, Olive Hill Police Chief Bruce Palmer says most of the fake bills they've recovered have the same serial number as a real $20 bill. $349. So with this obstacle, April is keeping on high alert with each bill that tries to make its way into the register she's on. For example, with this fake $20 bill, it's a little more flimsy, can tear a little more easily compared to the real one. And of course, you can always use your counterfeit detector pen. A darker color means fake, yellow, you're good to go. It's worth it because at the end of the day, you know you're going to at least have your job still. <laughs> and that's the main thing, especially when you have kids to raise. Marley Pinchock, WYMT Mountain News. Police say this particular fake money was also used in Cincinnati on Friday, as well as two stores in Moorhead and two stores in Carter County on Sunday. Anyone that recognizes the suspects is asked to call Olive Hill PD or KSP. Rabies is a major concern, especially in rural areas, as once your pet is bitten by an infected, an infected animal, it's almost always fatal. Before you or your pets head outdoors, it is important to take the necessary safety precautions to avoid any risk to contracting the disease. 
For pet owners, the best course of action in rabies prevention is getting your pets vaccinated against it, especially if they are outdoors often. And unfortunately, if it's something that, you know, they're bitten or you're bitten and you wait until they are sick and showing symptoms, then it's, it's too late because that, that rabies is one of those viruses that is almost 100% fatal. If you are bitten by an animal and you are unsure as to whether that animal is infected or not, you should always seek medical attention. It's no secret that this time of year can be stressful for your pets. Fireworks can scare them and cause anxiety. For one Jessamine County woman, they could cause her horse medical problems. Years ago, Picasso, the horse, started having what is pet owners called episodes when he got scared, often by fireworks. He was diagnosed with epilepsy and they realized the episodes were actually seizures. The 4th of July isn't always a one day affair in many neighborhoods, such as Picasso. Fireworks went off for days surrounding the holiday. We ask the neighborhood, just shoot your fireworks off on the 4th because we can plan for that. We can put them in the barn and so on. They've been great. I mean, it has been fantastic. Well, the owner explained that living in the horse capital of the world, chances are most people live near horses. She hopes people will reach out to their neighbors with horses and other animals ahead of this 4th of July celebration to have a conversation about any fireworks they'll be setting off. Appalachia Reach Out is working with churches from out of state to meet needs in the Martin County community. The mission is working on several projects this week, including a makeover for the Kingfisher Trail at the Collier Center in Inez, rebuilding the wooden steps on the trail and adding fresh gravel to the site. Volunteers say it's great to visit the area, work with ARO, and leave behind a little something for the community to enjoy. We love ARO. We love what ARO is doing, and uh, we want to be... Uh, uh, a long-term partners with them and see see them succeed because they're they're here every day and it, whatever we can do to see uh, see the work that they're already doing continue and, and to grow and uh, to help the people here. The group will continue working on the trail through Thursday. Those involved say they are excited to see it finished. The Hazard Vendors Mall moved into a new location and is now open to the public. The new location is just across the street from the old Vendors Mall. The old storefront used to offer multiple vendors at a time, but owners hope that a new location can help them become an individual storefront. Cashier Britton Costello says part of this expansion has allowed the mall to sell a wider variety of items. We started dealing in uh, furniture a whole lot more and a lot of our bigger items like generators and weed eaters and chainsaws, stuff that we did not have room for. And we started dealing in like musical instruments that, uh, you know, our smaller location just wasn't uh, fit and big enough for that. Well, she says they try to sell items uh, as close to half price as possible to help the community. The Whitley County Farmers Market set up in Niprock Park Tuesday evening and had a big turnout. Our Jade Saylor talked with the Farmers Market Manager about the importance they have in our local communities. Local farmers markets are a major resource in communities across our region. We usually have 100 to 150 people show up every every market and we have a good time. Uh, we're, we're just here to promote healthy eating and uh, to help our farmers out sell their produce and, and enjoy the community. On Tuesday, the farmers market in Whitley County set up for a big turnout. We are at Nibrock Park and we are here every Tuesday 5 to 8. The farmers market is also in Williamsburg at the River Fog Park from 5 to 7 every Thursday. And the people that are here to sell things that that helps them work harder to you know see what the change does to their community because you know people have more access to to clean and healthy fresh produce. Farmers markets promote local economic growth and healthy living. Also the economy um, people need to eat people need to eat locally and and help spread the wealth around the community so our community can continue to grow. You can check out the Facebook page so you never miss a farmer's market in your area. We have a Whitley County Farmer's Market page on Facebook. Uh, if you send us a message, if you need anything, uh, one of us on the board or me, myself, uh, we answer that. We respond pretty quickly. Stopping by a farmer's market is one of the easiest ways to support your local community, farmers, and small businesses. In Whitley County, Jade Saylor, WIMT, Mountain News. You can also go to the Whitley County Farmer's Market on the first Saturday of every month at Goldbug at the Extension Office from 10 a.m. to 2 p.m. Well, just ahead this morning, a group of popular puppets play their part in helping get kids vaccinated against COVID-19. 
and rain chances stay away for a little longer, but there's a good chance we see them heading into the holiday weekend. Weekend, rather, I'll track them out for you in about three minutes.